Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Conan Exiles. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you all of the emote and the locations where you can find them. So if you folks enjoy this video and find it useful and informative, please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So, this is going to be a bit of a long video. It did take some work in terms of preparing it, as I have marked all of the locations on the map where the emotes can be found. There are a total of 50 plus emotions, or... Uh, emotes that you can find in the game and they are all scattered throughout the game of conan so with that being said and done let's get started and so this is what i've marked on the map as you can see all the question marks are emotes that you can learn uh, i also will leave timestamps for these down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment so that people can find the ones that they are actually looking for so with that being said and done let's get to the first emote which will be the cross arms it's quite close to me just getting my bearings here so <laughs> i might end up kind of getting lost at times because i will be using the admin commands both in terms of having cloak on as well as infinite stamina and all that good stuff because i don't really want to be fighting anything the whole point of this is oh that that's i hate that sound so much <laughs> that is so cringy so it's somewhere around here i might need to fly up there's a little tent We're looking for a book that has the cross arm so i'm just going to use flight because i'm slightly disorientated uh so not there there we go, it's next to the Shattered Bridge or Broken Bridge or whatever this is called. So that is the tent right there. You will often see a ghost and that's uh, greyed out fire by the location of most of the emotes. So this is the cross arm emote. And once again, I'll show you my location on the map. It's right there. And that is the bridge. So we'll go to the second one. This one is... Oh, that sound. <laughs> is the submissive emote hold on a second let's see where i am so it'll be up here at the base of the bridge or aqueduct i think it's a bridge it's a bridge yeah so I, once again you can see the fire right there next to it is the book that will teach you the submissive emote you can also read the things if you want to read about them that's fine we're not doing that in this video though i'm trying to keep it short because there are as i said 50 emotes that you can learn so next one is next to the uh, camp where all of the npcs can be found uh, as you go into the dregs so this one will teach you comb hair oh dear ah oh, that noise i just don't get rid of it <laughs> all right well so over here you can see the ghost this one is down on the floor so i'm just going to show you the surroundings so you guys can see where i am located we got the ghost that does the comb hair emote. Next up is a dance, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, but it is the... Uh, well, let me see. <laughs> it's the... Uh, Kitten da dance, something like that. So with this one, you just have to sit and watch the ghost do the dance. Uh, probably severely butchered most likely severely butchered the name but yeah just sit here and watch this guy perform the dance and that is how you learn this particular emote now obviously i've already learned it so it won't give me that notification again but it's just that simple so i'm just going to show you the surroundings so this is kind of what it looks like you'll probably be coming from this direction anyways and then you'll see the ghost do the thing uh it's got that grayed out campfire next to it just so you know and it's in between the two red tents so i'm gonna try and keep some order to this because there are a lot and i don't want to be uh going back on myself so i'm gonna go up this way and then come back down this way as that's the way i'm gonna remember which ones i've shown and which ones i haven't so next up is in the unnamed city 
Uh, it should be right below me. Oh, we're going to get that sound again. Ah. Gosh, that is horrible. <laughs> so we've got the little, uh, whatever that guy is called. Uh, then we've got this right here. Interact with this. And as you can see, we learned the buy set. Uh, now this is also close to the entrance uh, to the structure where you will find and fight the snake boss. So if you go in, there is a snake boss to fight. There's my location on the map. Next up, we are going to go to Sapa Maru. Now, this one has a ton of emotes. This area particularly that I just showed there. So we're going to do the ones that have a single emote. Then we're going to go to the area that has eight emotes. So there's an area. So next up, you've got the little tent here. This is where you can find another ghost that does a dance sort of thing, a flirt. So that is the next emote. We're going to go towards the entrances of Sepamaru. So there are two entrances. Uh, there will be two emotes at each entrance. So one is right here. And so over here we've got the snake dance that we'll learn and the taunt. Whoop, landed in water. That noise, I just can't get rid of it. Okay, so this is where we want to be. As you can see, I will, uh, of course, show you the location on the map as well. So with this one again, you just sit here, watch them do the snake dance, and then basically you'll learn it. So same as with the ones before. Once again, I have already learned this emote, so it will not give me the little message on the screen. There's no book to pick up, no book to read, nothing of the sort. Next up, we have the entrance, or one of the entrances into Sepamaru, which is right there. And so this guy will teach us, this is actually an NPC that will teach us the emote. Okay, I'm on top of the wall. So he should be underneath this somewhere. So we talk to this guy over here. Good day, noble adventurer. And there we go. I am Gilzan, treasure hunter and man of fortune. If you are planning to so as you can see, once again, I have learned city, this emote. And now, advice. this no is going to be a tricky one because time. this one has eight emotes. Now, I roughly know... Most of them, uh, they are well hidden. So in this specific area, there are a total of eight emotes that you can learn. And I'll show you them as best as I can. I'm going to probably get it wrong at first. I'm going to try my best. But I will show you a way of running this place to actually find them. So the first emote is next to the set altar right behind this guy. You talk to that or interact with that. And you get Grovel. So just behind the statue, there is two more emotes that you can pick up, and that would be right here. And so we've got the bear hug right there. Right behind it is another emote in the grass, so it is quite well hidden. So it's that one right there, if I can get the thing. So we got point. Then from this point forth, we have some pallet like things on the right right there uh, they look like pallets to me so that's what i'm going to call them there's another little note down there interact with that you get another emote so that is what one two three this is the fourth emote so that's clap there we go so just kind of letting this kind of sink in because this is a lot of stuff here so then we will go all right, so I just wanted to see. Okay, this is point. That was clap. Okay, uh, so that means we've got four emotes, four more to find in this area. So right around there. So let me just kind of show you. These buildings also have emotes, some of these on the side. I'm going to show you a pattern on how to do it, but I just wanted to make sure. So we've got a ghost. There's a book there. It doesn't really do anything. That's just lore. So from the pallets, we just go to the right. Just wanted to make sure, because I can't remember where the eighth one is. That's what that was all about. So we've got another one right here. And this one is another one. So that is for five, fifth emote. And the ones I struggle with are the ones that are currently behind me. So they'll be on the other side. So I'm just going to have a look around here. I know there's like four or three on that side so we should have three emotes one of them is hidden in the grass by the way which is why i'm being a bit uh 
cautious. I uh, don't want to skip it. So this building over here has two emotes that you can learn. One of them is close to the barrels. Again, interact with it. You've got another emote right there. Okay, and then right next to it, there should be another emote right in that corner. You can already see it. And there we go. So we've got one more emote, which I can't remember at the moment where it is. It's somewhere on this side, and it's hidden in grass as well, so a bit difficult to see. Uh, let's have a look around. Somewhere around this area, but yeah. Right, I'll come back in a bit once I find it. There we are. As you can see, that is the last emote in this area. So that is a total of eight emotes. So obviously, I do realize that this might be confusing. So I'm just going to show you a, a full run of what you need to do. So we've got one emote here. Second emote here. Third emote here. Then we have these on the palace. So we'll go to the right. Fourth emote. Fifth emote. So now we need three more, which are on the other side. Uh, right here, this is the building. Next to the barrels, remember, there's an emote. Right there. So that's the sixth and seventh emote close to each other. And the eighth and final one is right there. As I said, it is in the grass and sometimes a bit weird to actually find. So that is it for Sepamaru. Next up, we are going to be going further up next to the Sulphur Sand, Sulphur area, whatever this place. Oh, I forget what it's called. So just up from Sepamaru, we've got this right here. There's another emote. Okay, so we've got these little things in the cliffs. We're going to go to this one, and once again, you get the fire. We've got a little tablet you can interact with, and a book next to the campfire. That is what you want for this emote. Okay, so I'll just leave that for a while for people that want to read it. And obviously, if you want to mark it down on your map or something of the sort. We're going to go to this location. This is the yawn emote. So this would be the, I suppose, 17th. Now, some of these books will teach you multiple emotes. Uh, right here, you can see the structure. On my left will be a campfire with a book next to it. So here we go. We've got the yawn emote. Next step, we're going to go to the score emote. So there's three in this area. We're going to do... Uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to go from the bottom upwards. So we'll do this one. So next to the Mitra Trainer, there are two emotes. So uh, let's get my bearings for a start. So first location is behind these steps. There's a book. So let me just show you what it looks like right there. Right here, we interact with this book. We get the by Mitra. And there's also a score emote here that you can learn. Let me just show you my position on the map. Right there. And then right there next to the base of the statue that these NPCs are supposedly building, there will be another book that will teach you the score emote. So that's the statue they're building. They've got the scaffolding right here. we got the ghost. And there is the score emote. Alright, so we're going to go further up. Right here, we learn the belly dance. Uh, this one is another one of those emotes where you just sit and watch the ghosts uh, do the thing, and that's how you learn it. We're going to wait for things to spawn in. As you can see, we've got the were hyenas. These guys will not be friendly. I am in ghost mode, or cloaked, actually, and so they will not really see me or bother with me. So basically, just stand here, watch these guys do the thing, and that's how you learn it. Once again, I have, of course, already learned this particular emote, so there's nothing for me to learn anymore. I'm going to go further up here, and this 
is the cheer emote. Okay, let's wait for things to happen. Uh, okay, this is one of these that I don't remember exactly where it is, so bear with me a bit. Slightly confused. This is one of these ones that I can't remember exactly the location of the emote. So, yeah, okay, I'm facing in the right direction. I'll give it some fly. It is. Uh, so I don't think it's that way. I'm just going to quickly have a look. Uh, I may have to cut back in once I find it or remember where where it is. I don't think it's this way. I think it's going too far, but okay, I was right next to it. So first things first, I'm going to show you this tablet because I do like these tablets. And right here in the sand is the book that teaches you the cheer emotes. Sorry about that. Uh, I did get a bit disorientated somewhat. And this is just one of these locations which I always seem to forget where the book is. This is the location on the map. So we're going to go to the next emote, which will be the push-ups. And then we're just going to go this way up and then come back down on the right side and get the other emotes as well. Okay, so next up we're going to go to this location right here. There is the push-ups emote that we will learn. Let's wait for things to load in. Uh, get my bearings. So I kind of know where the, uh, uh, the, there it is. I think it's in front of me. Yeah, okay. So it's one of these cliffs. So it's right there where we will learn the push-ups emote. There's the book right there. And you can see the ghost doing the push-ups. There's no campfire next to it. Okay, so the next emote that I'm going to be showing you is the fist shake, which is... So that's where we are now. We want to go there. That is where the fist shake emote is. Okay, let's wait for things to load in once again. Okay, let me just get my bearings here. So it's somewhere really close here. I know the general area. Um, I don't really come here very often, so let me just quickly get my bearings. Okay, definitely not here, so I think it's behind us. Yeah, so it's on one of these cliffs. Ah, there we are. There we go, that's where it is. So, it should be on the side. Basically, this is where you want to come up. You can already see the book. You also get the ghosts with it. There we go, the fist shake. And not far from here, we also have the fist punch emote. So we'll do that in a bit. I am trying to do this slow so people can keep up with the locations. It might make the video a bit longer, but I want to make sure that people get a good understanding of the surroundings. So this is where we are at the moment. Going to go and do the fist punch. Okay, so you want to come up basically the path that I just showed you to get to this particular remote. Over here is the fist punch. This is one of these areas which, again, is kind of out of the way. I kind of know where it is. Oh, don't want to do that. I want to teleport there. Right. As you can see, we're right next to it. Or here, actually. So it should be on my right side. This is the fist punch. So you kind of want to come to this particular location, interact with the book, and you have your fist punch emote. Next up, we'll do the spit emote. Uh, so we'll kind of come this way. We're going to go back up northwise, and right there is the spit emote. So we'll teleport there, and we'll kind of walk through the water to a little island that has a book with this emote. So basically, this is where I'm located. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> uh, so the island in front of me, that is where you will find the spit emote. Uh, right there, there's a book. I can interact with it. There we go. So further no north in the Mounds of the Dead village, that is where we will learn the chicken emote. I'm going to start from here because you most likely will be coming from this direction. Okay, things are loading in. 
So as you go in, once you are in the village, go to the left. You see this building and right to the left of the entrance, there will be a book that will teach you the chicken emote. Okay. Next up, we're going to do the Bikram emote, which will be... Hold on a bit. This one's... Uh... Oh, there's an emote right there. Okay, so notice that I didn't mark these emotes. I'll do it once I get to the location. There's another emote as you go into this dungeon right here, the uh, Temple of Frost. For some reason, I marked this down in my notes as by Chrome, but it's not. You'll see in a bit. But you go and interact with this tablet. It will teach you the emotes. Obviously, this is a cold area, so I need to... Yeah, so it's by Chrome. Interesting. Ah. That makes no sense. I think there's... Yeah, okay. I thought I made a typo there or something, but no. Okay, never mind. Uh, so I'll just mark this down. I'll put it down as by Chrome, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, but this is another emote that you can find. And there's another one that I haven't actually marked, which is right here. So this would be the slit throat emote. And I haven't marked it on the map. So I'll mark it after I show you its location. Also over here you can get a named uh, NPC to spawn in that you can tame as a thrall. Just to let you guys know. Okay, so now from this point forth, we're going to go back down on ourselves. I'm going to need to think of a pattern of doing this so I don't repeat myself. This is where I'm on the map. We want to do this area right here. And so I'm going to do this one first. So I think... There we go. There's another Bichrom emote right there. Okay, wait for things to load in. So, as you come to this area, you'll see a cave. To the left of it, there's some rocks right here, right by the side of the entrance. Ghosts, as usual, we get the book. And, once again, by Chrom. I'm not quite sure. I think there might be some typos here, because I think... Uh, well, whatever. But this is another emote. Uh, next up, we're going to do the come here emote, which is uh, basically you come from this point, and you go down, it's close to the entrance in to the unnamed city. Okay. Hold on. What's going on here? Oh, I'm right above it. So you can see the campfire. You can see some uh, bedrolls. We get the ghosts. And next to the campfire is the book that will teach you the come here remote. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, this was the Psy emote. My bad, getting them confused. Uh, next up, we're going to do the uh, War Dance emote. Okay, waiting for things to happen. Uh, okay, so I'm close to it. Just let me... Aha, it's up there somewhere. Waiting for things to fully load in. We're going to do the flight just to get there. So, this is basically either the Hacker or War Dance emote, whichever one you want to call it, pretty much the same thing. So with these guys, you just sit here and watch them do their War Dance, and that's how you learn this particular emote. Now, once again, I've got this already learned, so I won't learn it, but you will get a notification on the upper right hand of your screen so I haven't named it I'm gonna call it so in the game it's called the war dance uh, which is pretty much the hacker but or a part of the hacker which I think is one of the coolest dances yet in the game I do like the whole idea uh, let's try and type it correctly here oh shoot I shouldn't have done that <laughs> I cancelled it right I'm just gonna put it war dance there we go. That's that sorted. 
So now we're gonna do the come here oh. emote. Okay, wait for things to happen. Because that's the way the game works. Get my bearings. Ah, there we go. So, up there in that hand is an emote that you can learn. It's the uh, come here emote. Obviously, you'll have to walk into the palm of the hand to find the note. You'll also see a ghost walking in that direction. And here is the emote. Next up, we'll do the Sumerian dance, which is right here. Oh, I spawned right next to it. So, you've got the three benches, you've got the campfire. Once again, just sit and watch these guys do the thing, and that is how you learn it. There we go. So, if I wouldn't have had it, I would have just learned it now. Next up is the Seduce emote. So, we're going to go to the Black Galleon for that. It is right smack bang in the center of the Black Galleon. I'm going to spawn in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right, so, let me get my bearings. Let me show you. So, it's right there, the emote. There's a book on the side. And you'll probably be coming from the side on the bridge. Basically, just come towards where I am. And here is the book. Next up, we're going to do the squirm, which is right next to the sinkhole. Inside the sinkhole, you will have the undead dragon that you fight and learn the dragon bone weapons. Waiting for things to load in a bit, because hey, why not? So down there you'll fight the bone dragon, or the undead dragon. Got the campfire, got the little sound to symbolize there's a ghost or something happening. I can't see where it is, but this is where you get the squirm emote. Okay, so this next location will have... Actually, I think I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to go to this one. This one has two emotes that you can learn. So this would be Bayog and the Spank emote. So over here we have the Spank emote. And somewhere behind this or to my left side, there will be the Bayog emote. Okay, so right this way is the Bayog emote. So next up we're going to do the Achillean dance, which is right here. Okay, what's going on? Okay. So, uh, that one takes us into the arena where the dragon is. So, uh, this is another location. I'm, I'm probably getting this one mixed up with another one. I know there's one that is on a set of similar steps. So I'm just going to quickly check this out. Yeah, I don't think this is it. This is, doesn't look right. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Hold on a second. Okay, so I'm quite far from it now. Okay, cool. Got it. Alright. Ah, there we go. I see the statues. So it's right in between those statues right there. Uh, you'll see later on why I got it confused. We haven't done the one with the steps. There's one on the steps and that's where I kind of got it wrong. Once again, watch the ghosts. They'll teach you how to do this dance. Okay. And so the next one will be the blow kiss. And that is not too far from here as well. 
Yeah, this is the one I was getting it confused with. As you can see, there's a building. So this emote is on the steps as you go towards or into the building or structure, whatever. So it's up here somewhere. And that is what I was getting it confused with. And the final one is the show off emote, which I'm going to show you in a second. All right, so that should be further down here. This one is on, um, let's call it the beach, I suppose. It is amongst rocks, so it is easy to walk over. Let me just wait for things to load in. So, somewhere in this direction. But, yeah. Let me just fly because it's easier to show you. So, somewhere in this direction, we should have the emote. As you can see, it's really well hidden. We can hear the noise, the sound. Right there on my right, or in front of me now, is the book that'll teach you. You'll hear the noise as you walk past it, and I'm actually looking at it right there. It's well hidden. It looks very, very camouflaged with the rock, so easy to miss. And there we go. That is all of the emotes that I know of so far in the game. I don't think I missed out anything. Um, or I hope I didn't. So this video took uh, a bit of time to set it all up and get stuff prepared. I do hope that you guys have found it useful and informative. If you have enjoyed it, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content. Also, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.